Dwindling days of Derbyshire steam. Peak Forest Railway, coming soon. Retread the rails of the past, since gone but not forgotten. Train Sim World 3, Peak Forest Railway, Ambergate, Chinlay and Buxton is coming May 9th and is available to pre-order on Steam from today. 10% off with pre-order, Steam Store. We've been documenting the progress of Peak Forest Railway since our announcement of the route in our Festival of Rail back in February, with some key updates appearing in both the February and April roadmaps. Once again, Train Sim World goes back to the twilight days of the British steam era, depicting a line that is in parts now lifted and used for recreation as both a walking trail and cycle path. Train Sim World 3, Peak Forest Railway, Ambergate e Chinlay and Buxton will cover the line from Ambergate to Chinlay, places both with current stations on the railway network, but with the line linking them now segmented into various uses from an extant passenger branch line, to Matlock, a heritage railway, a footpath a cycle track and parts of a dedicated freight line. This route add-on takes players back to when the entire line was in use, along with the small branch to Buxton. Set in 1963, some five years after the setting of Spirit of Steam, it is the hard-working LMS Fowler Class 4F that represents the fading light of the steam era in Derbyshire. Locomotives and Rolling Stock Adding to the train sim world steam fleet for the first time since Spirit of Steam is the LMS Fowler Class 4F, and 060 tender locomotive of which 575 examples were built between 1924 and 1941. Like the Stanier 8F, named after William Stanier, the Fowler 4F is named after its designer Henry Fowler, though railfans at the time instead used the nickname Duck Sixes when spotting these locomotives on the rail network due to their wheel arrangement. Today, only three examples survive, e all currently under overhaul at various heritage railways. Players of Spirit of Steam will notice an immediate difference in the cab layout of the 4F when compared to the larger Jubilee and 8F locomotives. Head out camera view will come in very handy, with the windows offering limited visibility for footplate crew. This will be particularly important during banking operations. A unique style of gameplay for a British route introduced here to assist trains hauling heavy limestone. Carrying the limestone is a new ICI hopper wagon, working in conjunction with the 20T brake van first seen in Spirit of Steam. Both the LMS Jubilee and LMS Stania 8F, seen previously in Spirit of Steam, will also be included in this route add on alongside the new 4F, seeing all three train Sim World steam locomotives running together along the line. A varied selection of services will be available to operate, including local stopping and express passenger services with the LMS Jubilee and MK1 coaches, limestone quarry shunting and banking with the LMS 8F, 4F and ICI hoppers, yard shunting services with the 4F and various freight wagons, local freight with the 8F and various freight wagons, light loco services featuring all three locomotives. Double heading will also feature in one of the scenarios. There are no additional service layers for this route add on. The LMS Jubilee, LMS Stania 8F, MK1 coaches, freight wagons, and 20T brake van from Spirit of Steam are all included when purchasing Peak Forest Railway, along with the new LMS Fowler 4F and ICI Hopper wagons. Relive a route, almost, lost to time. Though significant portions of the route have since been taken up, Derbyshire locals and keen walkers may be familiar with several locations along the way. Between Ambergate and Matlock, the line is still in use as a branch line running through Watt Standwell, Cromford and Matlock Bath and from Matlock to Roseley, is part of a heritage railway, Peak Rail. A distinctive station building can be seen at Cromford with a fascinating history encompassing the freight train scene in this route add-on, and some rock and roll from more recent times. You can read more about this from our friends at We Are Rail Fans in their article, Is Standing at the Station. In game, beyond Matlock, a series of freight sidings, mills, bridges, and tunnels exist as they were during the early 1960s, along with Bakewell Station, that once served the town from which the famous Tart gets its name. Other stations had already closed by the 60s at Hassop, Great Longston, and Monsal Dale. Today, Hassop Station is a tea room and cafe for walkers and cyclists along the Monsal Trail, which runs along an 8.5-mile stretch of this railway route. 
The line continues via Miller's Dale, Peak Forest and Chapel en la Frith Central to reach Chinlay at the northern limit of this route. The branch heading off to Buxton, a spa town famed for its spring water, also features as a terminus for passenger services, branching off at the junction between Miller's Dale and Peak Forest stations. Part of the real-life line still exists between Buxton and Chinlay and is in use today for freight trains as part of the Great Rocks Line. Join the Railfan TV team on Twitch, YouTube and Facebook at 6 p.m. Universal Time Coordinated. 7 p.m. British Summer Time, on Thursday the 4th of May for a preview of Train Sim World 3, Peak Forest Railway, Ambergate, Chinlay and Buxton. Train Sim World 3, Peak Forest Railway, Ambergate, Chinlay and Buxton route add-on is available to pre-order on Steam from today with a 10% discount. It will release on May 9th for Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Epic Games Store, and Steam for pound 29.99 a dollar 39.99 a euro 35.99. Find out more about Train Sim World 3 by following at Train Sim World on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok.